O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Today you hear the voice of the Lord, harden not your hearts. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him. The dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God and we are his people lucky shepherds. Today listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massa they challenged me and provoked me, although they'd seen all of my works. Forty years I endured that generation. I said they are people whose hearts go astray. And they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Today, if you hear the voice of the Lord, Harden not your hearts. O oh, splendor of God's glory bright, the light begotten of his light. O oh, light, the fountain spring of light, O oh, day with night dispelling night. Come, very Son of heavenly love, come in your radiance from above, and shed the Holy Spirit's ray on every thought and sense today. So we the Father's help will claim and sing the Father's glorious name. And this almighty grace implore that we may stand to fall no more. So let us gladly pass the day, our thoughts as pure as morning ray, 
Our faith is new tide shining bright, our minds undimmed by shades of night. Almighty Father, hear our cry through Jesus Christ, our Lord most high, whom in the Spirit we adore, who reigns with you forevermore. Amen. I lift up my heart to you, O Lord, and you will hear my morning prayer. To my words give ear, O Lord, give heed to my groaning, attend to the sound of my cries, my King and my God. It is you whom I invoke, O Lord, in the morning you hear me, in the morning I offer you my prayer watching and waiting. You are no God who loves evil, no sinner is your guest. The boastful shall not stand their ground before your face. You hate all who do evil, you destroy all who lie. The deceitful and bloodthirsty person the Lord detests. But I, through the greatness of your love, have access to your house. I bow down before your holy temple, filled with awe. Lead me, Lord, in your justice, because of those who lie in wait. Make clear your way before me. No truth can be found in their mouths. Their heart is all mischief, their throat a wide open grave, all honey their speech. All those you protect shall be glad and ring out their joy. You shelter them in you they rejoice, those who love your name. It is you who bless the just ones, Lord. You surround them with favor as a shield. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, all justice and all goodness come from you. You hate evil and abhor lies. Lead us, your servants, in the path of your justice so that all who hope in you may rejoice with the Church and in Christ. I lift up my heart to you, O Lord, and you will hear my morning prayer. We praise your glorious name, O Lord our God. Blessed may you be, O Lord, God of Israel, our Father, from eternity to eternity. Yours, O Lord, are grandeur and power, majesty, splendor, and glory. For all in heaven and on earth is yours. Yours, O Lord, is the sovereignty. You are exalted as head over all. 
Riches and honor are from you, and you have dominion over all. In your hands are power and might. It is yours to give grandeur and strength to all. Therefore, our God, we give you thanks, and we praise the majesty of your name. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We praise your glorious name, O Lord our God. Adore the Lord in his holy court. Oh, give the Lord, you children of God, give the Lord glory and power. Give the Lord the glory of his name. Adore the Lord in his holy court. The Lord's voice resounding on the waters, the Lord on the immensity of waters. The voice of the Lord full of power, the voice of the Lord full of splendor. The Lord's voice shattering the cedars, the Lord shatters the cedars of Lebanon. He makes Lebanon leap like a calf, and Syrian like a young wild ox. The Lord's voice flashes flames of fire, the Lord's voice shaking the wilderness. The Lord shakes the wilderness of Kadesh. The Lord's voice rending the oak tree and stripping the forest bare. The God of glory thunders. In his temple they all cry glory. The Lord sat enthroned over the flood. The Lord sits as king forever. The Lord will give strength to his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. You live forever, Lord and King. All things of the earth justly sing your glory and honor. Strengthen your people against evil, that we may rejoice in your peace and trust in your eternal promise. Adore the Lord in his holy court. From Jeremiah. Yet I, like a trusting lamb led to slaughter, had not realized that they were hatching pots, plots against me. Let us destroy the tree in its vigor. Let us cut him off from the land of the living, so that his name will be spoken no more. But you, O Lord of hosts, O just judge, searcher of mind and heart, let me witness the vengeance you take on them, for to you I have entrusted my cause.
God himself will set me free From the hunter's snare From those who would trap me with lying words And from the hunter's snare Glory to the Father and to the Son And to the Holy Spirit God himself will set me free from the hunter's snare. Whoever follows me does not walk in the dark They will have the light of life Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel He has come to his people and set them free He has raised up for us a mighty Savior Born of the house of his servant David Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, should be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Whoever follows me does not walk in the dark, they will have the light of life. Praise to Jesus, our Savior. By his death, he has opened for us the way of salvation. Let us ask him, Lord, Guide your people to walk in your ways. God of mercy, you gave us new life through baptism. Make us grow day by day in your likeness. Lord, guide your people to walk in your ways. May our generosity today bring joy to those in need. In helping them, may we find you. Lord, guide your people to walk in your ways. Help us to do what is good, right, and true in your sight, and to seek you always with undivided hearts. Lord, guide your people to walk in your ways. Forgive our sins against the unity of your family. Make us one in heart and spirit. Lord, guide your people to walk in your ways. gathering our prayer and praises into one, let us offer the prayer Christ himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. O God, by whose wondrous grace we are enriched with every blessing, grant us so to pass from former ways to newness of life, that we may be made ready for the glory of the heavenly kingdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace.